This is like nothing new. Motor speed mods are, are nothing new. Um, but you guys like this one, so let's do it. So what you'll need to do this is obviously this GE uh, variable speed uh, cassette player. You will need, if you want to do the uh, uh, CV stuff, you'll need an eighth inch in. You will need a switch. Now this switch is like crazy. You do not need a switch like this. These are just the ones that I had lying around, so that's why I use these. But um, you just need a little simple switch to click over and stuff. Not a big deal. Um, and then you need a 10K resistor. And this is where, you know, you get the all the good turning knob stuff. Um, and, and again, I will have this in that little PDF or whatever. Uh, showing all the parts. And then you will need some solder. A soldering iron. It's very hot right now. A screwdriver, a little tiny one. You will need uh, wire. Uh, I actually, when I first started doing this, I bought a pack of like pre-cut wire, which you can get. Uh, which is funny, but it's also really nice. And if you don't have wire cutters and stuff, you know, it can make it just that much easier. And also, um, I will be putting all of these uh, in the link below um, because I got like all this stuff on Amazon. And, you know, it's very simple. Used to go to Radio Shack and get this stuff, but they have like died out. And I don't really know where else to go. And it's just way easier to get it on Amazon. Now, some stuff you might want to get. Um, that will make it a little easier, and if you if you decide you want to do this stuff more, uh, this will just be good stuff to have. It's really nice. So I have this little guy here, doo -doo -doo, which you've probably seen before, something like that. You know, he's got his little arms, and very helpful, actually. Really, really helpful. I've burned myself a million times before I had this, and, and after I got this, I still burn myself, but it's just a lot less. Um, and if you're going to be doing, like, circuit bending, these things are great. These little clips... They just, uh, you know, act like a wire, but um, I'll show you when we open this up. Um, it's just nice to have some temporary things so you don't have to be soldering every little point because when you're doing, like, circuit bending, you're testing a point, and then you, um, you know, just start testing all these little points. But when you're holding a wire, it can be difficult, or when you want to put a switch on it and see what what uh, knob works or whatever, um, it, this just makes it so much easier. So, I think that we are ready to start. So, I'm going to flip this over because that's just how I did it. And <laughs> it's kind of silly, but that's just how I know how to do it. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, real quick, just make sure it's all working good. Okay, cool. Sounds nice. It's, it's going up in speed. It's going down in speed. Um... So first things first, actually, let's get this loop out of here. We got to take the cover off. This is what the cool kids do. So this is what your tape player will have. Okay. Put it back in. Everything's working. Okay, let's turn it over. Let's open it up. So this is going to be real time. I mean, I might speed it up depending on how long it takes, but it really shouldn't take long. And also, just to know, I'm horrible at soldering. I'm horrible at all of this stuff. I've just brute forced my way through. So that's why I wanted to make this video to let you guys know that you can do it. It's not, it, it's doable. Yes, yeah, so this is already taking a million hours. Okay, cool. So here it is, all opened up in its beauty. Uh, this loop is so weird. It has that little dip in it, and it always freaks me out. Okay, um, so also, before we get into this, there's like little things you can do uh, to like basically anything. So this has a little microphone in it. Um, which is great, and it actually sounds really. I like the way it sounds because it's kind of it's got like a cheap cassette feel to it. If it I like it, but you can um, add like an input to this. Like I could add this to it um, and 
use that as an input, which it kind of uh, gives you more some more flexibility. And also, it, I, it already has an eighth out, but you can uh, change it to a quarter inch out if you prefer. Um, and that's a pretty standard mod that you can do to like anything. I think Magpie has a video about adding uh, a er, quarter inch out, sorry, to like anything. Uh, and that's fairly easy. Uh, when you start getting into this stuff, it's not too bad. Okay, so I'm talking too much already. So these are the spots I found, and literally, I was just going... So, okay, here we go. Oop, I'm gonna clip it on. I literally... Oh my god, I can't get it. I literally just picked a random spot, and then I just started touching stuff. And then I happened to find... I'm afraid it might break. Okay. So that's what I, that's literally the process I went through to find this. And the lucky. Oh, there it is. So that's it. That's literally the magic. Okay. So what we're going to do now is. Switch. One right there. And one right there. And now I can control it. But as you see, um, it's like stuck in this position. You know, like I can't make it go back to normal. Which I like it when it goes back to normal just in case I, I want to use it for something else. So, and that's the purpose of the switch. So the switch will go in the, like this line, and then that'll be able to turn it off and on. Uh, so we can basically get going and start soldering because we know our points and we know what we want to do. So we don't need these anymore. Actually, maybe I might because I keep forgetting where that one spot is. <laughs> that's not good. Um, and, and you can use like a permanent marker or something to like to like remember where your spot is um, if it helps you like me because I'll forget in 30 seconds when I actually go to do it okay so like I said I'm horrible at soldering so let's try and do this Doo -doo -doo. so tinning is basically when you just, before you put the wires on, you put a little bit of solder on whatever you're going to solder. And that'll just help you, um, it, it just helps a lot because you don't have to do that extra step while you um, have like wires in your hand and stuff. So again, I'm awful at this. Oop. Just scratch my table. Okay, so the resistor is ready. Put that off to the side. Let's get the switch. Just to make sure. Okay, so just two next to each other. Again, the switch is like way overkill. You do not need a switch like this. As you can see, it's taking me forever because I'm horrible at this. If you're quick at soldering, this will take you like five minutes. And this already has solder on it. I'm just giving it a little bit more just to help me out. And yes, I did forget where the spot was. I'm going to start adding my switch. It's always good to give it a little tug just in case. <laughs> now we can start adding to 
the switch. Or to the resistor, sorry. There you go. That's it. Not too crazy. And if you're decent at soldering, it won't take you that long. <laughs> so I am gonna mount this uh, now to the outside and how I'm gonna do that is with a hot glue. Um, and that's how I did this one. Uh, and then I'm gonna add the uh, CV. Um, and again, if you wanna know how to do the CV, it is on uh, Chris Randall's page. I'll have a link to that too. But it's, uh, if you see right here, see that doo -doo -doo. there's like a couple little points uh like these two points really is all or these two something like that i forgot i've got to open that one up actually and look because i forgot um but that's it uh i hope you enjoyed and please uh sign up for the giveaway and hopefully you make it and it'll be so cool and i'm really excited and it's so cool okay uh thank you guys for watching and i will see you later